been far too long since I posted a video to this channel. So I thought, you know what? Why don't I come on the course, bring the camera with me, bring you with me, and basically let you know where I've been. So, cut a long story short, just kind of life has gotten away over the summer. Like it's, there's a few reasons which I'll get onto in a little bit, some cool reasons, but you know what? I want to get back to it because I've really missed being out here making these videos. And I know a lot of you enjoy, really enjoy them. I've really lacked with the content obviously over the summer and I really want to get back to it again. Uh, so first things first, we're going to kick things off. Uh, I've got like 240 into this par five. And you know what? We're just going to go for it with the three wood. We don't take half measures on this channel. This is average Joe golf. Anything could happen. So let's see. I've kind of chunked it. Is it going to get over? It was a little bit fat. It wasn't bad, but it was a little bit fat. So I don't think it's got there. There is a stream up there, so it may have cleared it. It may not have it. I don't think it's gone the green because I didn't catch it, but it wasn't too bad. So like I said, there was a few reasons as to like why I've been really busy over the summer. Most of them have just been like life in general, just getting in their way, taking priority, boring stuff. But there's actually been a couple of really, I don't know, exciting stuff that I've that I've sort of accomplished and done over the summer. So the first thing that I did over the summer, I actually managed to get some work for the European tour. More specifically, uh, European tour productions, like the people that create all the content for European tour, like YouTube and all the socials and stuff like that. So the videos like the 14 club challenges, the hole in one stuff, like all those really fun creative challenges and things that the European tour professionals get involved in. I actually managed to help out with a few. So I went to London Golf Club. I also went up to uh, St. Andrews Fairmont golf course and filmed up there for an event and it was just yeah it was just an awesome awesome experience so I was basically like a production runner on those shoots so basically just helping out just in general the production and I'll, I'll throw in a little clip now of one of the videos I was involved in but I was kind of like in one of the 14 club challenges I was the ball boy like literally as they were teeing off you know going head to head against each other on a par three I was there like rolling the balls to, to the pros which is which is pretty cool um, so I'll, I'll throw in a little clip or a picture now so you can you can kind of get a little sneak peek of me in the background so working for the European Tour was obviously well it was a surreal experience but the thing is, like, none of that would have been possible if it wasn't for you guys watching right now because, you know, I basically used my channel, like, the content I have, like, on here as kind of like my portfolio. So, you know, working for the European Tour, getting that experience, like, it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for your support. So, yeah, I just want to say a massive thank you anyway uh, because, like I said, it wouldn't have happened otherwise. But anyway, I've made my way to the ball and um, look where this one's ended up. So, I have just about made it over the stream. Am I gonna risk it? Yep. But the real danger is <laughs> relying on my short game. Oh God, get down. Ah, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't exactly great either. But I tell you what, first hole back on the channel and I'm putting for birdie. So I will definitely take that. Quite a long putt, longer than I expected, but that pin position is pretty tricky on this hole. The greens have been hollow time, so we'll see how these run. Slow down, slow down. I gave it a run, but this is not over yet. There we go, the par to start things off. I'll take it. So as I'm making my way over to the second tee, I just want to talk about another thing that, um, that I did over the summer was that I actually passed my driving test, which is awesome. The great thing is, is that means that from now on, I'm gonna have so much more freedom and just flexibility just to get to other courses. Cause like I said, I had to rely on people so much, like taking me to courses, which kind of restricted me in a sense. Like I'd only play at really kind of local courses, which is great. But at the same time, I wanna like, you know, spread my wings a little bit and actually get out and see more of the UK and other places. And hopefully that means more exciting videos at different golf clubs. So I'm pretty sure since you last saw me, 
I had my old driver, so now I've got the uh, Sim 2. Custom fitting and everything, the right shaft, and to be fair, my driving has been pretty good over the summer, really good in fact. Uh, so now, whilst I hype myself up and um, <laughs> talk really good things about my driving, just let's see how this one turns out. So it's a short par four, only like 280 or something like that. So you know what, let's go for the green. Let's do it. Ah, I've smashed that, but it's not the line. That's gone a bit right. And in this video, I want to say a quick shout out actually to a clothing company that reached out to me a few months back now. Uh, they sent me over some really nice golf trousers and shorts. I, try, I really like them, they're great quality, they've got great designs on their website. So if any of you guys watching the video now are looking for some clothing, especially for the winter, uh, check the link in the description down below. It's Lace Smart Golf. And yeah, they make some really nice, reasonably priced, good quality clothing, so definitely check them out. Right, so I made my way over to my ball. It's actually ended up okay. It's not gone in the trees or anything, but it's a very nasty little pitch here. I've got a bunker right in front of me, obviously, but then the pin is just so tight to it. You know what? Let's go for a little flop. Let's go for a flop. This could go seriously wrong. Let's try the audacious. Oh, God. That wasn't as bad as it could have been. Right, so we've got to up and down this for the par. That's, that's the aim. Stop, get down. Oh, damn it, damn it. Just popped up, it actually almost went in, but. Do I need to adjust the camera angle for this one? Because I assumed I'd be closer to the hole. You know, I can roll this in. Doesn't have much movement on it, I don't think. Just firm up the hill. Roll it in for the par, easy. Oh, easy, I, I told you, what can I say? If I keep this up, if I get power or bet on this, I'm, I'm gonna have to play the full 18. Oh, well, let's, let's see, don't get too ahead of yourself, Joe. Oh God, no. That's why you don't get too ahead of yourself. Yeah, that's in the trees. So we got a little bit of tree trouble. I may as well just hit like a little chippy five eye and hopefully just in that gap there and get it back onto the fairway. That's the plan. Oh no. Oh, shit. <laughs> so now I've got like no real shot. I've got like, it's like 150 to the front. Hit a pitching wedge and just try and blast it over the tree. I'm looking positively, but I don't think it's gonna go that high. Oh, it's got over them, but it's just, I'm behind other trees now. And now I've pretty much got the same shot onto the green. <laughs> got my 56 and just, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this turns out. That looks good, you know. Get down. I think that is a that is a golf shot. So that was a very nice 56 degree over the trees, if I do say so myself. I've got another like 12, 15 footer up the hill again. So let's see if we can finish this little three hole video off with another par, because if I get three pars on the trot, you're gonna think I'm playing off like five now, which is not the case, unfortunately. Ah, damn. Just pushed it a touch, but you know what? Two pars and a bogey to come back with on this channel, I'll definitely take. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end this little video here. Um, you know, just, just wanted to update you all basically on what's been happening. But the big news is that I'm back making content. Like I don't wanna give out the impression that I'm gonna be making daily videos or anything like that. What I'm gonna aim for is a video every week. I've got a lot more structure in my work and stuff now. And it's just, I, I want to get out of here and play, even though it's coming up to winter and you know, all the leaves on the floor is going to get colder. Like, I, I still want to come out and make content. So definitely expect some more very soon. And yeah, I hope you're glad that I'm back. It is good to be back making these videos and um, hopefully I'll see you all very soon. Yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.